topic would be um, dress up. One of the action guidelines for a successful atomy uh, business. This topic was actually um, uh, included in the talk of Dr. Um, Sung Yun Lee. So he's the chief of uh, Atomic Economic Research uh, Institute. And um, uh, this talk was um, held three years ago. So uh, it's about Atomy 7-Up. Atomy Okay, so Dr. Lee said that um, dress up does not uh, mean to dress neatly, but to make your appearance be presentable. But, um, but what I think is uh, dress up also um, means we should dress up neatly because um, having a presentable appearance follows that we, we dress up neatly, right? We're presentable in our physical um, uh, appearance. So um, all of us here are doing business or doing Atomy as a business. And um, so we represent uh, Atomy to our customers, to our partners. So um, our appearance really matters. But there is actually more to this appearance uh, that Dr. Lee pointed out. So um, he illustrated uh, this concept of dress up for a successful atomy through these two men, the world's known uh, top salesmen, Bill Porter and um, uh, Joe Girard. Okay, so, um, so what is so special with these two men other than their names are imprinted in the history of top and best uh, salesmen in the world? So let's find out. Okay, so first, uh, Bill Porter. So Bill Porter has a cerebral, uh, he was born with a cerebral palsy. palsy. However, uh, his condition was never a hindrance to achieve his uh, dreams to provide for his, fa uh, for his uh, mom and uh, for himself. And this did not immobilize him for a second to be the best to his field. So he was a salesman in Watkins Incorporated, and uh, he was uh, he became salesman of the month uh, and salesman of the year within his uh, forty five years of service. So in his city, in his region, and in in USA, in the country, right? But his mom was. Uh, um, or his mom has a great part on his success because um, he, uh, she, she made, made sure that uh, Bill knows that his condition is not, sick, is not a sickness. So despite of his uh, looks, his slurring speech, his deformed uh, build, and how people look at him, uh, when he did his door-to-door -door sales, he dress up the best way he can. Even if he needs to ask someone to do, to tie his shoes, especially when his mom uh, had an Alzheimer. So even when he asked someone to tie, uh, to tie his um, necktie. So dressing up properly matters to uh, Bill, Bill Porter. So why and how? So first he always uh, dressed up neatly. So how do we apply this in Atomy? We must remember that when we decided to do uh, Atomy as a business, we become representatives of Atomy. So uh, we are not just members, we are not just sellers, but we are business partners, right? And we carry the brand of Atomy. Uh, we are the reflection of Atomy. We are actually Atomy. So as you can see, uh, Bill Porter, he, he really uh, dress up neatly. He always have his hat, his uh, coat and tie. No? So because he represents Watkins and Watkins is very well, was very well known or up until now, it's very well known. So um, next is um, he makes his appearance presentable like what Dr. Lee said. Uh, it's not the looks, but it's the, the appearance. It, it's not just um, dressing up neatly, but it's the appearance should be presentable. So how? So Bill Porter and everyone knows how he looks, right? Um, he's different from, uh, from normal people, from other people. But the concept of uh, dress up in business is looks is not important, but appearance is. 
So, uh, Dr. Lee sees, sees appearance as the whole character of a person. So he discussed actually the criteria for selecting a person. So why, why, why did I inject this? Uh, let uh, take note that we are not the one who select uh, uh, who we are going to share atomy with. It is the people that select us if they want us to, uh, you know, if they, if they want our company or if they want us to serve them or, you know, so it is us who is being selected, not us who select them. So, uh, Dr. Lee emphasizes three, body, speech, and, and uh, judge, judgment. Um, so, those are the criteria for selecting people. So, we're thinking that there are tons of network marketing, right? So we, we, we have to take advantage. So we have to do everything we can to be, to be selected among the network, uh, network companies. Uh, we, want, uh, we want Atomy to be part of their daily lives. So how? How, how can we do that? So first, um, we must dress up ourselves with a positive attitude, you know, positive thinking. So that's what he did. Despite his condition, um, uh, he, he, he think positively. So when we start our day to do the business, you know, we must dress up ourselves with positive thoughts. Positive thoughts gives us joy and hope that uh, when we get out, uh, you know, uh, great things will happen to us and even to the people that we meet right and when we have joy and hope people will see that in our face you know the countenance uh we smile to them and they can see the sincerity in our hearts even the earnestness of our concern towards towards them um so according to dr lee we need to create a good first impression no? Okay, wait, so make a good first impression. Because he said, first impression is concrete and cannot be broken. So, uh, like what they said, first impression lasts, right? So, we always remember, even if uh, it's a, a, um, a wrong impression, but, you know, we, we remember. We remember that uh, first impression. So, so, this could be our, our advantage to be selected. Like, we have to have a good impression to every person that we meet. Whether they they'll be a customer, or become a member, or become a partner, and with um, Bill Porter, despite his appearance, his customer loves his sense of humor. Look at his smile! I see, he's so so cute. So he has sense of humor, and you know he's pleasant. He has this pleasant smile, and you can really see in his eyes the sincerity uh, to his client. His sincerity, um, his sincerity, right? And they see him as a person, as a person that have full of joy and hope in life. So in the same way that he relates that to his clients. So second, um, we must dress up with, uh, we must dress up our body with confidence. Okay, so there, there should be no question with our confidence, with our company, with the products and with the, and with the leaders. And also we have uh, a team oozing with confidence, right? The team awesome. <laughs> you have that team awesome. Be confident. So um, if we are not this confident, so we really need to overcome. So it's the problem is with us. We we really have to overcome this. How? We should uh, value ourselves, and at the same time, we should value what we do. We know how other people uh, perceive salesperson, right? We are just after their money, and we just want to earn uh, from them. But sometimes we uh, we give in to this perception. So when we give in to this perception, th that means we do not value ourselves and we do not value our our, our what we do. Uh, I I believe that what we do now is is the same as any other job. We work and we get paid. It's just in a different structure, right? Uh, we we it uh, we I think that. Um, even them, they also have the confidence in doing their job. So why can't we do it ourselves? It's the same thing, right? So when we have confidence, uh, we are able to deal with people with all honesty and goodness. That's what Atomy teaches us, right? Goodness and, and, and uh, honesty. And what does that make us? A trusting Atomians. So when people trust us, see, we, we become trustworthy. So 
you think they will select other network um, company members? No, it's us because we're so trustworthy, right? <laughs> and um, when we have this confidence, we can assure our clients that we are reliable, right? That we can do service to them. That's what actually uh, Bill Porter did. He was so confident despite of his appearance that um, he can serve uh, his clients that what, whenever, he, whenever they need him, he's there to, to, to give the products. And he's truthful to customers and deal with customers with honesty and reliable and trustworthy. So why can't we do it? Why can't we, we be like him, right? So Bill, actually, Bill Porter, when he was first rejected at Wankins, he came back and he said, uh, hire me. And which, uh, which one, uh, which department is mo mo the most challenging department? It's a door-to-door -door sales. So he, 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 he accepted that challenge. And all throughout his 45 years, he had never deceived his clients. So um, we're not comparing his condition to us, but uh, actually uh, we have all the convenience to do this business. So uh, let's have that confidence in us and let's uh, fight that um, uh, perception of other people people with regard to salespeople, sales, salespeople, right? So uh, let's value ourselves and let's value what we do. Because this is not just important to us, but this, this is also important to other people, the people that we help, uh, that we are helping. So uh, this made him a successful uh, salesperson. So Dr. Lee says, if he can do it, we can do it too. Because no one here has the worst case than him. So there's really nothing impossible to be successful. If he, he, he did it, we can do it as well. So and then second is, um, uh, so yeah, um, because of that confidence, uh, Bill Porter gained more confidence that he can do business uh, again with his existing clients. So that's a repeat purchase, repeat customers. Uh, so uh, it's possible also in our business. And next is, Joe uh, Girard. So uh, Joe Girard came in, came from an extremely poor poor family, but uh, his desire to bring his family out of pov poverty uh, started his determination uh, to succeed in the field of business. Now his record, uh, although there's a controversy last 2017 uh, that it has been, you know, uh, that there's another one who uh, succeeded his record. No, he he sold thirteen thousand one cars in fifteen years, and he was uh, uh, chosen. Oh, he was given the World Guinness Book of Record as the seller who, uh, with the most cars, nineteen seventy three, he sold one thousand four hundred twenty five. So he claimed that it has not yet been beaten until now. No? And um, so how he started uh, in how he started in sales was very interesting, and I think that Atomy also adopted this strategy. I'm just assuming because uh, it seems like like his strategy is the law of two fifty. So the law of two fifty. Okay. So I I, I I'm not sure, but I'm assuming um, uh, Atomy adopted it through the two hundred fifty masters list. Because that's what my question before, why 250? Because before I was also into, into sales, I just, I'll just make 100 uh, lists. But here, 250 master's lists. I've heard that from, I think, Coach, Coach Chu. I forgot his name. Okay, so his story was uh, when he attended a wedding of a relative, he got curious with the number of guests. So he asked Aran, how many guests, uh, uh, how, how many guests do you think uh, we have here. So he was said around 250. And then he attended a funeral. So he was curious again of the number. So he asked the pastor, um, he said, uh, uh, how many guests usually attended a funeral? And then the pastor said uh, 250. So he had this realization, or I should say this thought that um, a person knows at least 250 person in his lifetime. So uh, as soon as he realized this, he applied immediately for a job, a salesman in a car dealership. And you know how he dressed himself up for success? Actually, um, he had this positive mindset. Uh, he, he, he used this law of 250. 
So um, he said that um, he will have 250 potential clients for every one customer that he, he will sell a car to. Okay, so if you think that way, wouldn't you treat that one person extraordinarily because you will have 250 potential, potential clients, right? Potential customers. So, so the way he did it is he, he really dressed ni uh, neatly and uh, like uh, professionally because he feels like whenever you speak to one person, you're like speaking to a 250 crowd. You know, like when you do seminars. So that's what his, he, that's, that's his mindset. So every person for him is very important. And when he deals with them, it's very crucial. I really need to do extra care uh, to this uh, person because he believes that when there's one unhappy, one unhappy client, you lose the 250 immediately. Okay. So, um, this this mindset actually uh, uh, improved the way he dressed up. He dressed up not only like uh, neatly, but also with the confidence that um, he can um, he can serve this client uh, truthfully, and that um, um, he 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 did everything he can so that these clients will refer him to their friends or to, to other customers. So Gerard, de, Gerard uh, dealt with every client with uh, integrity and, um, and genuine heart. So how did he grow his business? How did he become a Guinness Book of Record for 12 consecutive years? He did not do the door-to-door -door sales like what Bill Porter did. He didn't actually need to, you know, seek clients because his clients, he, they, referred, they referred him to others. So word of mouth, oh, this guy is very good. This guy is really sincere, you know, and he's very well known to his um, uh, post-sales customer service. So he consistently do follow-ups. He consistently uh, um, call them. So those word of, of mouth and referrals are, are his, one of his keys to, to success. And he, the, the, the dress up that uh, Dr. Lee uh, mentioned was this confidence that um, he can do this, this confidence that he can have this client because he knows what he has. He knows that he's honest, he's, he's good, he's truth, he, he, he is truthful to what he's doing. So, um, Dr. Lee also said that dress up is an etiquette. Because when you dress up, when you put on those positive attitude, those confidence, um, uh, um, uh, you act, you know, you act with dignity, with formality, you know, you morally. Um, dress up also is an ability because it enhances everything in you. It uh, actually changes your behavior. Um, so for, for us Atomians, uh, let us wear the right attitude so that our appearance will be presentable. Then we can be successful in Atomy business. Thank you.